Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I'm going to be updating my crochet journal and I'd like to thank the Washi Tape Shop for collaborating with me on today's video. The Washi Tape Shop kindly sent me some Washi Tapes and PET tapes to use in this video and I'm never not shocked by the beauty and amazing quality of their tapes. I'll be using a mixture of a couple of these sets for my spreads, especially the Happy Journaling set and some of these beautiful florals. And by the way, if you want to get some gorgeous washi tapes for yourself, you can use my code CREATIVEMINDS10 for 10% off your order at thewashitapeshop.com. Now without further ado, let's talk about all the plushies I crocheted so far this year. I printed out these images on label paper and I always get questions about how I printed out my photos or collage images. I'll have the label paper I use linked down below, but I print these out at a print shop that I work at and we have a huge toner printer so that's why the images are such good quality and kind of shiny. The first two pages I wanted to set up are for my birthday cake elephant and my PB&J giraffe. I've admired Zero Gravity Crochet for so long and I love her different themed amigurumi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Those cute little animals that people crochet and I've experimented with that this winter. Jen's Crafty Creations came out with the sitting elephant pattern, which as soon as she posted it I set an alarm on my phone for when the pattern went live on her Etsy because I wanted to make this adorable elephant so bad. I had also gotten this rainbow speckled yarn for Christmas and wanted to make an animal funfetti or birthday cake themed, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to make a birthday cake themed elephant. I think I sewed the ears on a little bit too high up, I would definitely stretch them a little bit lower on the elephant's head the next time I crochet this pattern, but I think it's still really cute. One of my favorite things I crocheted recently is this peanut butter and jelly themed giraffe, which again was also inspired by Zero Gravity Crochet, and the pattern is by Crochet Grove. I've used this pattern before when I made a pink giraffe for my hairdresser's baby girl this summer, and I've been meaning to make another variation of this giraffe. I think it came out great, and I definitely want to make more PB&J themed plushies now. I think a cat would also be really cute. As you can see, for decoration, I used this happy journaling washi tape, and I cut out the little clips on the tape to make it look like my images were hanging on the page. For the next two page spread, I'm going to try to squeeze in three more creations so the left page is split in half for my cookie dough cow and a frog fidget pop thing that I made. And the right side is going to have pictures of an absolutely adorable pancake themed stingray, which is also referred to as a sea pancake. I'm going to start with creating this thick border around the sections and then I'm cutting up this winter florals PET tape to add in some decoration.
I realized I didn't have a ton of room on the left side to write about the cow and the frog plushies, so I kind of just used those boxes for decoration and to add in the photos. And then I'll write about all the patterns featured in this spread on the left side where my sea pancake will be. I use my alphabet stamps to stamp out the headers in each box as well as to write in who created the patterns. And then I discuss how I think I did creating these plushies. I think the cow and the frog could use a little bit of work on my part. The frog's eyes looked a little bit wonky and something about the cookie dough cow doesn't look correct to me. I'm not sure if I messed up on the pattern or just didn't assemble it very well, but I was pleasantly surprised by how absolutely adorable the sea pancake turned out. And that is it for my crochet journal update. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also, don't forget to check out my bullet journal social medias. Thank you again to the Washi Tape Shop for sending me these tapes and please go check them out in my description box down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.